Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is my latest and greatest discovery with the PlayStation 2. What you just witnessed is the PlayStation 2 running a pseudo 240p image on a 15 kilohertz CRT. That's right. No 40i. No flicker. All scan lines. All stability. So how is this possible? Fagan 500 one of my biggest inspirations on YouTube, made an old video running an Xbox 360 into an arcade cabinet. What he did was he took an Xbox 360, ran an RGB SCART cable into a sync strike, ran that into the Extron 580XI, and then fed that signal into his arcade cabinet. I wanted to try this myself because one, I'm a diehard CRT fan, and two, since the PlayStation 2 has the ability to output RGB SCART and has USB ports to power external devices, I didn't see why I wouldn't be able to try this. So what I did was I bought a PlayStation 2 SCART cable. Make sure you set the PlayStation 2 to RGB in the settings. And it's running into a sync strike. Sync strike will either combine or split the sync. On a SCART. So you can either output a RGB S signal or an RGB HV through the sync strike. The sync strike will output a D sub 15 connection, which is required to get an input into the Extron 580XI. The Extron 580XI will only work with an interlay signal. From there, the Extron 5EXI has many dip switches on there. I'm still not 100% sure which ones are what essentially turn this 4EI image into 240p. But what I do is I leave all the switches turned on. And then as soon as the game boots up, I turn on off the DDSP. And then I immediately get this super sharp 240p-ish image from a 4EI signal. It's not completely super sharp. It's more like a sh soft 240p, but it still looks fantastic. There's zero flicker. You would have to go out of your way to look for the flicker. Once you start playing the game, it looks like, like an arcade cabinet, bar none. And since the PlayStation 2 has USB ports on it, I'm able to power devices such as the VGA to component transcoder, where all, which all that does is just transcode any incoming D sub 15 connection to component. It's a very popular device for people who use main PCs or CRT EMU, EMU driver, groovy main, things of that nature. It's also useful on Extron devices such as the Extron 580XI or the Extron Super Emotia. It is really amazing that new devices are coming out for these old systems and setups like these are now possible because of the community. You know, guys like Linux Box 3000 and Mike Chi make this all possible. I was actually very surprised this actually worked since I've heard that this doesn't work. But just messing around with the Extron 580XI dip switches. All I had to do was turn off, off the DDSP after the game booted up, and I got this really nice pseudo 240p image from a PlayStation 2. Essentially with this, it's I'm only using one external power supply. 
Initially, I did not want to try this setup because I didn't want to have too many box plug it in to too many boxes. But because the PlayStation 2 can power external devices, I'm only using one extra power supply to make this work. I would have had to done the same thing had I just simply line doubled the PlayStation 2 to 480p on a CRT monitor through the OSSC, so I, it probably would have been no different. But the biggest thing I prefer about 15 kilohertz is even though they don't look necessarily as sharp as a 31 kilohertz CRT in uh, with scan lines, what I like about 15 kilohertz monitors is that they're bigger. They kind of, they're a bit more practical to me sometimes since they're easily able to be found in sizes 24 inches, 27 inches, 32 inches, and etc. A shout out to Fagan. Very old video. Long time fan of his. And I did not believe this would work, but it actually works. But like I said, the flicker is very, 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 very slight. And the 240p image you will get using this method is going to be a very soft 240p but that's okay because it still looks way better than 480i it's 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 the type of soft 240p you would see in an arcade cabinet if i could describe it scan lines aren't super sharp but they're they're there and i'm happy with that Especially can't complain knowing that this is running from the PlayStation 2's excellent RGB output. So this is near near arcade quality right here. And just to prove it, this is running off of the PlayStation 2 Street Fighter Alpha Anthology. But yeah, I just wanted to show that this is possible. It's a crazy setup. I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. You know what they say, don't try it at home. Don't try this at home. But I just wanted to show everybody that this worked. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions about this. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy New Year. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye now.